it's not the most exciting uh, camera trap situation because obviously I'm working with a, a dead animal here. Viewer discretion is advised. So I got up this morning and was on the way to work. Pulled out of the driveway and like 100 feet from our driveway, um, this young deer had been hit during the night. And so uh, obviously couldn't leave it there, uh, pretty much in the yard. So I decided, got off work. If the state hadn't picked it up yet, uh, that I would do it myself. So so if you ever do anything like this be sure you're aware of your state and local laws when it comes to handling um, roadkill. Uh, it's different for different areas. Um, like I said this was in the yard. State hadn't picked it up yet which they normally do and uh, I decided that I would take it uh, right across the road uh, to a farm that I have access to, private property and I would dispose of it in the woods, uh, let nature reclaim uh, the body. And so I said, you know what, it's unfortunate that this young deer got hit by a car, um, but I'm actually kind of curious to see what kind of animals are gonna come to it, so we're gonna put a camera trap on it. Going to drag it in uh, probably, I don't know, there's a spot in here about 100 yards in, uh, and we're probably a quarter mile half mile away from a highway so uh, any scavengers that come in to the camera uh, and to the carcass um, they're not going to run the risk of getting run run over themselves and that happens a lot when you have road kill something gets killed on the road you've got the night shift that moves in possums uh, uh, any kind of I've actually seen owls scavenge on the side of the road uh, they'll then get hit uh, because they're just sitting on the side of the road so um, we're going to drag it in and I'm going to put uh, a camera on it and we're going to put a couple lights on it and we'll see what comes to it. Um, I've only ever done this once before but never with a camera trap. I uh, We had a deer hit in the same spot, well actually a little further down, drug her into the woods and put a, cam a trail camera on it just to see what came to it. It happened, is what it is. We'll see what wildlife comes to scavenge a carcass. Uh, I'm actually very curious and very excited to try to get photos of uh, turkey vultures and black vultures. Um, I'm actually very curious to see how they uh, respond to it and what they do to the carcass because um, you know that's their job. They they are the, the, the cleanup crew uh, for anything that passes uh, in the wild. So uh, it is getting um, late in the evening, mosquitoes are already out, so I'm going to make this as quick as I can. Uh, I'll go ahead and drag her in. I'm going to spare you that, uh, but once I get everything into the woods set up, I'll bring back and uh, I'll, I'll talk you through what we're going to do. Okay, got everything set up. Um, I've got the dough laying on a heel. Um, I've got the camera on the, the, the downside aiming up so it makes the deer look 
much larger than it actually is. Um, and then if any buzzards or any whatever scavengers come in, um, hopefully will come in near the top. And um, I've got two lights set up. I've got one that is to the camera uh, left, uh, very, very low, maybe a couple feet off the ground, foot and a half, two foot off the ground. I've got it like uh, F8 power. Uh, zoom really wide 35 and then I've got or excuse me 24 and then I've got a flash that's up here which is a, a rim light that one's zoomed in at 50 millimeters at f8 and then I've got another one right down there that is a side light um, and it's at f16 at 35 so just to fill in a lot uh, I just have a suspicion that it's gonna be mostly buzzards um, and vultures so I'm trying to cover all areas um, most of the time your buzzards and vultures go for um, the eyes first the rectum uh, the guts the soft tissue that's normally what they go for and so I've got the belly side facing the camera um, so I'm thinking you know buzzards come in try to get on that side of it um, this is this is gonna be a camera that I check daily because um, we're in the end of July and it's hot clearly as you can see and the, the forecast for the next week high in the mid 90s every day so this carcass is not going to last long so um, I am afraid of coyotes moving in if a coyote comes in and the camera trap doesn't spook it off it's going to take the deer <laughs> it's just going to drag it off so I'm going to come in every afternoon and check it um, if I need to move some stuff I will uh, I do have one camera, trail camera up, documenting the entire scene um, from a wide, very far, wide perspective, just to see, you know, what the camera, uh, if I get anything, if I miss anything, if something skirts around the carcass, it's kind of wary of the camera trap. So yeah, so just got a lot going on. Um, it's not the most exciting uh, camera trap situation because obviously I'm working with a, a dead animal here. Um, that wasn't killed by another animal now if I could find like a bobcat kill or a coyote kill or wolf kill that would be that'd be different I'd be very excited um, this I'm excited but not extremely so um, I just can't wait to see honestly what shows up and and feeds on the carcass so like I said gonna come back tomorrow check things out and I'm sure I'll have to change some stuff around because uh, I know the buzzards are going to move in. Pretty much guaranteed buzzards, possum. I feel like a coyote is going to show up. I just don't know if the camera trap is going to spook him or if he's just going to run up to it, grab it, and haul ass the other direction, which is very possible. So, um, so yeah, she's right down the hill uh, right there. And so um, we're going to try to get some good images off this set like I said it's uh, I'm, I'm excited to be camera trapping but it's not a yay uh, just cause I hate the little deer got killed honestly um, and right there in my yard too which kind of sucks so but we're gonna take advantage of the situation and see if we can come up with some scavenger portraits with a camera trap um, and you know you, you learn a lot by doing this uh, seeing what comes in and scavenges uh, carcasses like this um, and then also too by taking it away from the highway no scavengers will get run over as well so all in all it's very hot I'm completely changed the color of my shirt and I'm gonna go home take a shower and we'll come back tomorrow and see uh, what we've got so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in 24 hours
All right, it's the next afternoon, and I went to uh, the other camera trap I got. Took a couple um, trail cameras up to move in here to where the deer carcass is. Uh, it got up to the mid 90s today, so uh, there should definitely be some change uh, in the carcass. Uh, I've not walked in, I just turned the camera on. Uh, I've got to make about the 100 yard walk. Let's go see what we got. a rabbit that was kind of cool all right so the deer is still here I just spooked it looks like a buzzard and it's definitely still here uh, but there's definitely been some activity around it so uh, let's kind of move in and see what we got all right, let's turn this trail camera off. We don't want to be documenting me. All right, let's see. All right, so it's still here. Let's see the flies have moved in and there's some activity around this area. Uh, the rectum, which is what I was talking about yesterday, they go for the soft tissue first. Let's go in here, check and see if the camera trap still works. It does. Uh, a little bit of a smell, not too much at the moment, but definitely a little bit of a smell. Open up the back of the camera here. Try not to fall, and let's see what we got anything came in and tripped the camera I've kind of noticed that the um, camera is pointed a little too far down which I'm glad I came in here so vultures are on top of it looks like I've clipped some wings when they were kind of had their wings out but all in all everything's still here which is good and only a couple buzzards have moved in so I feel like today was like the first day uh, of getting the word out and the smell out so it looks like I'm thinking tomorrow is going to be a, a big day for the, the breakdown uh, of the carcass so uh, I brought these two, two trail cameras in I'm going to uh, put them up real quick and make minor adjustments uh, to this uh, so I don't cut off any more heads especially if a coyote or a bobcat or something were to come in I would, wouldn't uh, miss that shot so and I may look around and see if I have a better perspective, um, but uh, I'm going to try to do this quickly and uh, get these cameras up and come back tomorrow and see what happens then.
So it's been 48 hours since I've set up the deer carcass cam. And today, wow, we've got something new. Buzzards galore. Just as soon as I pulled in, I uh, saw them and then I just spooked a bunch more. So the buzzards have discovered her. And whoo! Yeah. Wow. The smell is very intense. Whew. Wow. Yeah, it didn't take long at all. Uh, the smell is super intense. And uh, so now let's take a look what we got. So she's still here. Uh, I'm going to walk in real quick turn the sensor off but clearly a lot of decomposition all the the guts appear to be gone and just millions of maggots now uh, and some really strange looking bugs I've never seen before so all right let's see if the camera still works if it does we're gonna turn that off got some bees Sort of eat around the mouth, eyes. A lot going on back here as well. So, uh, we've got a lot of buzzard poop. Looks like they were probably sitting on uh, my flash here. It's bent out of the way. So, we've got some fresh buzzard poop there. Yeah, that's we will have to fix that like I said smell is crazy intense I always check the trail cameras first but it smells kind of bad so I'm gonna go ahead and check this really quick Whew. oops all right so camera's been moved quite a bit and I'm just going to go back through um, so I got some really cool looking buzzard uh, photos it's what I was expecting honestly I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the camera back quite a bit oh wow wow got a I mean crazy shot of a buzzard like right full frame face Wow, so this is actually really neat. This is kind of what I was hoping for. Didn't know really what to expect, what I was kind of wanting. So these are really cool. Just the camera got moved, unfortunately. Okay, 48 hours <coughs> and a lot has happened. The smell is almost unbearable. Um, there's buzzard feathers and, and poop everywhere. They've totally uh, gutted the carcass. And they've opened up a cavity just behind the shoulder been pulling on it i went through really quick and looked at the photos as long as i could um, take the smell being that close i just pulled the memory card out uh, almost filled up the memory card with photos uh, i've got like really close images of the buzzards their faces their feathers on top of it fighting lots of really neat images from that cool perspective but i actually slid the camera back and pointed it up so I'm hoping to get more of the buzzards uh, in it t tomorrow. But uh, all in all, it's, it's successful. Uh, and the deer, the carcass is moving away very quickly. So uh, we've got nothing but maggots, uh, bees, really weird beetles that I've never seen before. Uh, so I'm learning a lot. I uh, filled up one memory card on the trail camera. I swapped it out. The other one is still running, got plenty of space. So I'll change it out tomorrow. So I'm going to get out of here, come back tomorrow after 72 hours and see exactly um, what it's looking like. Uh, so it's, man, uh, it's happening very quick. Uh, I've, again, I've not looked at the images outside of what's on the back of the camera and getting some really cool buzzard images that I was hoping for is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Nothing's moved through at night. Uh, no predators as far as possums, coyotes, bobcats, anything like that. It's only buzzards that's coming in and cleaning this carcass up. So learning a lot from it and uh, we'll check back tomorrow and see what happens next.
as you can tell it's completely gone um, I just walked in so I have no idea it smells pretty bad there's a couple of bones um, here a couple up here just kind of scattered uh, but I don't see it anywhere okay there it is Wow completely demolished and moved completely away from the site Wow uh, all right so let's turn trail cameras off first so they don't document all me walking around we'll check them in just a second see if the camera still works oh no all right so oh no no I don't know if you can see that but that was hooked to my camera oh let's turn this trail camera off wow this is really bad smell so this is where the deer was right here and that's her right there the remains that's what's left so my guess is coyote dog something came in drug it down the hill had to so oh look at this check this out yeah that's all buzzard poop it's everywhere all over my flash and at some point the I'm assuming when the deer was drug from where it was to down the hill here um, my sensor got unplugged so I didn't get photos of whatever happened here but this thing is covered I'm gonna have to clean it oof should have brought my gloves in <clears throat> oh the smell <clears throat> let's see all right so I'm right here about to check what was on the camera battery's dead <laughs> So it took so many photos, the battery died. Got an extra. The entire ground is just moving with all the millions of maggots. It's nice. All right, so the battery died. Hopefully, we got something good before it did. Well, the bad thing is um i got pictures of buzzards on the ground feeding at the carcass uh while it was still there so i don't know what drug it off didn't get pictures of that i'm hoping it was the buzzards and i'm also hoping the trail cameras documented that i changed up the composition quite a bit kind of glad i did um got some more a little wider perspective of the buzzards not so close yeah really glad i did so getting some good pictures of the buzzards here all right so i just went and checked the trail cameras um confirmed that it was the buzzards the buzzards just there were so many of them fighting over it they just drug it down the hill and it ended up back down the hill maybe 10 feet behind the camera so um all in all <laughs> from start to finish this project is pretty much over um in 72 hours so the, um, the buzzards were the number one, the only species that came in uh, to the deer carcass, which is kind of crazy. I really thought uh, something would come in, uh, like possum or um, possibly a coyote, but something to that effect would come in maybe, but nothing has. Um, sorry, I got all these little bugs all over me. Um, so it's only been buzzards so pretty crazy stuff um 
man, I've, I've gotten uh, about 3,000 photos of buzzards to go through now. I uh, went through last night and just kind of scoured through um, them quickly, and there's a lot of good stuff in there that I'm, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, and it looks like I've got some good stuff from today that I'm really excited about. I love the much wider perspective. Wish I'd have done that originally. Much wider perspective, uh, and it's a darker, moodier light um, by shooting uh, wider. So uh, it worked out really well, and um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Now the decision uh, needs to be made if I want to follow where the carcass goes from here. So, you know. I'd say 90% of the carcass is gone. Um, we're literally down to bones and just a little bit of skin um, of the hide. Everything else is, is, is just gone. So um, I'm trying to decide, do I want to take the camera down with it and see if a possum or uh, another type of scavenger will come in and feed on it? Um, or pull it all together um, because I, I feel like some sort of scavenger is going to move in but I don't really know uh, I, I'm just shocked that it, it was the buzzards it was the buzzards were the number one I knew they were, they were my main target for this project but I didn't think they would be the ones that actually drug it off but there was there was a ton of them in here the videos look like there's like 20 of them. Um, I hadn't, I didn't count, but just guessing, it looked like there was at least 20 individuals. So, and there's bones scattered everywhere. So they're they're pretty, pretty tough animals. So. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching this uh, different. We're we're we do that a lot here. Very different episode um, for uh, camera trapping, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to show you some of my favorite photos right here. Uh, from this set. Uh, if I continue on down, we'll make that into a different one. Uh, but as of right now, I think we're going, I'm going to call an audible and we're going to end this one right here. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be doing more camera traps as we get into late summer and into the fall. We're definitely going to be doing more camera trapping as the weather gets cooler. Animal activity increases uh, preparing for winter. We're going to be doing a lot more of that, so be sure to, to hit the subscribe button. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. I'll, uh, I'll be making some more videos in the very, very near future. And again, just thank you guys so much. Um, until next time, we'll see you. Thank you.